scientists just cracked the physics behind the perfect pasta, winning them this year's Ig Nobel Prize. Cacio e pepe is Italy's minimalist dish, just pecorino cheese, black pepper and pasta. Potentially delicious but often a disaster if the cheese sauce splits, leaving you with a greasy puddle of rubbery curds. More lab disaster than dinner. Who's putting all this in the bin? So physicist Fabrizio Ormida from IST Austria and his colleagues turned to physics for a solution. The secret to these sources is an emulsion. Tiny droplets of fat suspended in water give the sauce its silky texture, but as oil and water don't mix, this balance is fragile. The researchers showed that above 65 degrees Celsius, the casein proteins in pecorino cheese denature, their long coils unraveling and knotting together, forcing fat into clumps and the emulsion to collapse. These saucy suspensions only hold if they have emulsifiers, molecules that can interact with both polar water and non-polar fat, bridging the repulsion between the two. Traditionally, to keep the balance, chefs depend on starch that leaks out of pasta as it boils. These long carbohydrate chains are mostly water-loving, but they curl into helical shapes with tiny hydrophobic pockets. These pockets help trap fat molecules, keeping them dispersed in water. The problem is in practice, pasta water varies wildly, and the starch concentration is often too low to do the job. So researchers turn to image analysis to build a phase diagram of how these proteins and starches interact in pasta source. Their suggested fix was to make a stabilizing solution from corn or potato starch, then add it to the pan alongside the pasta water. The sweet spot they found was 2-3% to starch powder by weight of cheese. Any less and this risks the emulsion collapsing, and any more it gels into a thick paste. In this narrow range, starch coats the proteins and droplets, creating a stable colloid and a sauce that stays creamy every time, absolutely worthy of the Ig Nobel Prize. I just hope that their next paper explains why my scrambled eggs squeak like gym shoes. What are you? An idiot sandwich. If you like science and think it should be both peer-reviewed and taste-tested, follow for more.